Yo, Sanjay Uchiha here, people. I'm coming with a quick Dragon Ball news release video. So, I'm here on Herms98's page on Twitter. Of course, credit must go to him. But the interesting part, as you see here on screen, Herms retweeted uh, a tweet from Afre J. If I'm sorry, for our anime AJ, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, credit goes to all those involved there. But the point is, there's a new Dragon Ball website it's been registered for 2018 and if it's anything to go by as Herms retweeted in the I had a DragonBall2013.com for always for Battle of Gods and DragonBall2015.com for Resurrection F. So what could this possibly mean for Dragon Ball Super? It could be indicating that we'll be getting a Dragon Ball, a new Dragon Ball movie, our major project in 2018. Companies don't just register websites for the sake, for the fun of it. It's always about some major new product or something. But could there be a Dragon Ball Super movie? Now, I think it's a high possibility because as we get into finishing, we're not close yet, but we're, we're halfway there in terms of finishing the tournament of power but it would make sense to have one big movie to kind of transition into the new era of dragon ball or in the sense that are they going to go on to oob or it will be or introduce something beyond the 10 year time skip that will actually i guess get gt out of the way even though gt will still be its own standalone story or anime continuation but Whatever this is, it's going to be the critical point in actually determining what Dragon Ball is going to be, I'd say, after the 10 year time skip. And it's crucial for Super. So I guess look out for information regarding that. Um, I'll be covering that, of course. So Sandro Chia, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.